Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and your Fun Stampers Journey coach. And boy, do I have a special project to share using my favorite die of all times. Many of you have seen this die. Many of you have purchased this die from my store. I call this envelope die the must have envelope die because if you are a card maker, well, you need envelopes, right? Well, with this full size die, you can customize any envelope for any occasion and any season. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this envelope dies in another creative way. So shopping with me is easy. You could visit my store at www.funstampersjourney.com forward slash Bible scraps. And that will take you directly to my storefront. You could also visit the main store. And at the top of the screen in the Coach Finders tab, you can type in my name, Felicia Hands with a Z. And then you must click on my profile picture, which is a picture of my original shopping lot. Once you do that, you have entered into my store. You could also click on any of the links in the description box, and that should take you to my store. Now, if you should have any problems, any concerns, do email me at biblescraps at yahoo.com. Now, I did do a full review of the envelope die and I will link that video in my description box but take a look at this little book my first book of prayers all things great and small well I took my daughter's this was her book she's 24 years old so I got this for her a long time ago it came in a set of three little book of prayers I decided to take this book and turn it into an envelope book. I had this idea in my mind for months and it finally manifested. Now, I'm not going to give a tutorial on how to complete this book, but I will share a tutorial on how to make an envelope pocket type little album. So it's not perfect. It's my prototype, <laughs> but it's perfect to me. And you could see envelopes that I have added. This book is perfect for recipe cards. It's perfect for receipts, a little, little bits and pieces, you know, you could stick into the pockets. Now, as you can see, I've included some of the pages, well, all the pages to the book but I didn't pay attention to the orientation of the pages, so it's upside down, but I still love it. <laughs> what a cool way to upcycle, to recycle this book. So I have not added anything to my envelopes yet, but all my envelopes, they pretty much close with Velcro. But this is the pocket that we are going to make, and it actually extends to this side. So it opens like this, comes down like that. Isn't that nice? We are going to make a similar pocket in this video that you could use in your custom albums. You could use it like this, or you could stick it on a scrapbooking page, or you can use it as a standalone project. And I used, okay, so I have these grommets. These are like vintage in the crafting world. Remember Making Memories, that company? They made a lot of these grommets. And so I decided, since these are back in the day when my daughter was younger, I thought how fitting to put these on this altered envelope book. Once again, I will have all the products I used in the description box below. You can find this die on page 270 in our main catalog. The item number is DI0102. If you don't have a physical catalog, I do have links to our virtual catalog. I do want to point a couple things out. Number one, this is a full-size die. 
it's big. It will not work in your cuddle bug or your big shot. You need a platform um, at least eight and a half inches by 11, such as Teresa Collins Cut and Boss. If you have the Big Shot Pro, that's a 12 inch platform that will work. If you have Crafters Companion Gemini, the large machine, that will work. The Junior machine will not work because it's too small. I do want to give you another tip. You get six dies with this set. You get two dies that are word dies. If you want to use the word die with your envelope die, this particular die, it has a curve and the curve actually is similar to the curve here. Well, you would place the die just like that, following the curves. And that way, when you cut it out, well, you would use washi tape to lay that down. When you cut it out, you will get your phrase that's in its that's in the right orientation and it says sealed with love i just added backing paper here i love the envelopes people super quick i tell you you can have envelopes made lightning fast and you see some of my envelopes that i have cut out some i have folded as a matter of fact you know let's go ahead and fold one now you can create envelopes in two styles like that or you can place your flap down and go over like that now you could use any type of adhesive but you know i like to use the hot glue gun so i'll come down here i'm going to create my envelope that way so what i do is add a little bit of hot glue like that and then simply just press all right you guys so i have a new model for myself well it's old now it's don't think create because when we overthink it gets confusing and we don't accomplish much so with that being said when i made this i didn't think <laughs> so for this tutorial part i had to kind of go back and figure out how i constructed this there's many different ways you guys so have fun and experiment and I'm going to do the best I can. All right. So I have constructed several envelopes already. And then I have one that's not constructed. And I'm going to call this my base envelope. And <clears throat> excuse me. What you do is you take your completed envelope. I have not added my Velcro yet. I'll do that last. And with this left flap, it looks like... I added this flap to the back of the envelope because that's going to swing like that. Okay, so I'm going to use a bone folder. It's a good idea because if you're using a heavier cardstock, the bone folder really comes in handy. So I'll do that real quick. You don't want to add too much glue. If you add too much when you press it like that, you might get some that seep to the side. Oh darn it, I wasn't supposed to do that. Okay you guys, I'm a ding dong if you didn't know that. Because I need my base envelope. So I do want to create my folds. But... I start off with the base envelope so I don't want to add any adhesive okay so now I do want to mention this too. whatever envelope you want to be at your front we're going to adhere that last Then I'm going to add glue to this flap and add the card like like this lining up the edges 
because I want it to flip back this way. So if I want to, I could stop right here because I have a little creation that works like this. I could cut off this part and use it as a three envelope fold type card. Wouldn't that be nice? But what I'm gonna do is add another envelope on this flap. And I'm going really fast because I'm almost out of time. Line it up like so. With hot glue, you can move it. Just you have a couple seconds to kind of work with it. Okay, so now we have a creation that looks like this. And this is how it works. So my last envelope is this pink envelope. I can have this envelope on the front like that. Or depending on how I fold it, I could have this envelope on front. So you can definitely use these as standalone creations. You could send these as happy mail, right? You could fill up your envelopes with die cuts, with stamped images, with little embellishment, or you could use it the way that I have used it in my little book. And let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna walk you through this step. Now I use Velcro. Velcro is like my favorite crafty friend right now because with Velcro and this technique, you can detach and attach and you can continue to detach and reattach and do all that. What you're gonna do is take your back envelope, mine's is the polka dot pink, and add a paper clip or something to hold your um, envelopes together. And you're gonna add your Velcro dots or you can use strips. Now I picked up 500 pairs from Amazon and I love this stuff. I will have it linked below. What, you're, what you wanna do, and this is what I did, take one of your Velcro dots and add it to your book or your envelope. But what I forgot to do you want to add hot glue or a strong adhesive to your Velcro before you adhere it to your book or your envelope. And then what I do is take the other part of the Velcro, because Velcro is two parts, and place it right on top of the one that's already down. And then add hot glue to the sticky part of the Velcro. And then take your back envelope, and simply do it like this. Press it down. And once you do that, the adhesive that's on your Velcro, it's going to bond to the book and the envelope. And then you will be able to lift it This up. is a good example of what happens when you don't use an adhesive to your Velcro. You see, this top part of my Velcro did not even raise up to stick on my envelope. But if I add hot glue to the sticky part, it will. Do the same thing for the back cover. Add your Velcro to this side. Add it to the back of the cover. And you then will have this creation attached like so. And to add Velcro to your flap, use the same process. Use your hot glue, attach your Velcro dots down, press the flap into place, and then you have a Velcro closure. Now, I will come back, you guys, and offer a tutorial on how you can create an envelope book like this. In the meantime, if you have found this video helpful, why not give me a thumbs up, like this video. Also, subscribe if you are interested in more tutorials. If you should decide to adopt my idea, please give proper credit. Do give a shout out and do link this video in your description box. And don't forget to check out my links for the envelope die and for the Velcro. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.